Complete peripheral vitrectomy is required in cases with fibrovascular proliferation and rheumatogenous retinal detachment. This is pseudophagic case that we perform peripheral vitrectomy under air infusion. And this method is an example for interface vitrectomy. As you see, it becomes possible to see and to shave all vitreous base and peripheral vitreous because the optical refractive index for water is 1.33 but this is only 1.0 for air and air provides wider visualization. For complete peripheral vitrectomy, scleral indentation is required during vitrectomy under fluid infusion. Indentation can be performed uh, by an assistant and it means second hand for the surgery and a perfect cooperation of two surgeons is required to avoid retinal touch. Or if the surgeon uh, wants to perform scleral indentation by himself, chandelier elimination is required and it means more scleral incisions. Under air infusion, need for a second hand during surgery is eliminated in many cases uh, which also increases the comfort of the patient operated under local anesthesia. And this is fake case. It becomes possible to see all the trust base in most of the fake cases and uh, slight deviations may be needed in a few of them. The retina is detached and mobile during vitrectum under fluid infusion. Scleral indentation provides some degree of immobilization of retina under fluid infusion. However, uh, it becomes possible to shave vitreous on the surface of an completely immobilized and attached retina under air infusion. So the risk of iatrogenic retinal breaks uh, can be decreased.